is dead after boat capsizes, throwing a family into the Hillsborough Bay. Good evening, I'm John Sable. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Serena Fazan. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales spoke with the survivor, plus other boaters who said one red flag made them turn around. It's been terribly windy all day long. The water's rough and choppy to the point that some boaters have had to turn around. Now, I do want you to take a look in that direction over by the deeper waters of the shipping channel. That's where the boat started to take on some water. A family member collapses. Hearing the news, 57-year-old Alberto Marrero Tamayo is dead. It's horrible. Horrible. The survivor, who did not want to be interviewed on camera, tells me water quickly filled up their 25-foot boat. Within two minutes, the six on board ended up in the Hillsborough Bay, including a child. The Tampa Police Air Unit spotted them hanging onto a buoy and threw out life preservers. One swam to a nearby island where McDill's Marine Unit rescued him. But by the time help got to the rest of the group, the survivor says Marrero Tamayo couldn't hang on and drowned. We spoke with one Davis Islands native who skipped out on boating altogether this weekend because of the rough waters. Jimmy Grez knows too well how quickly things can turn bad. Years ago, he was rescued after capsizing. Today, he wouldn't risk it. Right out yeah. here, the ship's channel, it's really deep, of course, for the ships to come in. You've got shallow water, but the, it, the, I think the worst thing weather-wise is the direction of the wind and the strength of it just makes the bay really choppy. This dad forced his sons to put on life jackets and turn the boat around. I couldn't get in there to fish either. It was just too rough. So we just spent the day in, in shore. As a family is left heartbroken, <laughs> these boaters caution everyone to pay close attention to the water. To truly determine the cause of that capsize, authorities are going to have to bring up that boat and investigate if it was human error, mechanical problems, or weather related. In Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News. And earlier